channel today is a cook with us as we inspire you to gather with friends and make really easy recipes and make big messes so you can have big memories yes big big mess equals big memory right Quinny <laughs> right probably every week mom and Quinn honey and Quinn they bake and I got so I posted that video on my personal Instagram and a lot of people are like, I can't believe how patient your mom is with the mess. And I was like, mom, this is like Quinn's favorite thing. Like she's always pumped to put her apron on. She's always ready. And she honestly has pretty good life skills for a two and a half year old. So we just have really loved doing that. And yes, mom's beautiful kitchen gets super messy, but Quinn's always ready to do it. So we wanted to inspire you to do that. And then on top of that, that same week that I was getting all those messages that people were shocked that mom allowed messes in this beautiful kitchen was one of our friends messaged us and was like, hey, I just want to check in with you guys. She's one of our best friends because she always checks in. We're busy and we don't always remember to check in. And so we love the friend that checks in. Yeah. She's our favorite. And so mom was like, yes come over for lunch and mom is the queen of like on a fly being able to pull a delicious lunch or brunch or whatever together and so we wanted to show you some recipe ideas so inspire you make the mess make the memory call the friend and anyway so what are we making today so um, today we are making egg muffins egg muffins and and pop tarts Pop tarts. Right. And so right now we're working on our pop tart and um and sprinkles are our favorite, right? Sprinkles? Yeah, yeah. So and this... sugar. <laughs> sugar. Yeah. So this recipe is from Half Bake Harvest. She is not She's only amazing. like watching her cook on Instagram or bake or whatever her recipe, it's very aesthetic, but also her recipes are creative and most of the time have been pretty easy. Quinn just like boom, <laughs> ate flour straight up the. That's okay. normal. Yeah, we just allow. We just go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Good at a time. Oh. And we want to cut this butter. Here. Mm. Now, Quinny, let's put it over here on the mixer. You can come over here too. Ready to turn it on? Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Okay, just a little bit. Perfect. Does it look good? I think that might be enough water. We're going to bring it over here. Over here. Yeah. And we're going to roll it out. We need a little bit of flour. Spread it out. Spread the flour. Spread it out. Okay, good job. And then we're going to roll this out on to this right here. Okay. If you're a real baker out there, please don't judge me because I'm a creative and measurements are not my thing. <laughs> so we need to divide this. All right. Divide this? Yes, divide it. I want to cut. Oh, honey cut because it's danger. I think that's supposed to be one big pop tart. Oh, it is? Mm. For this one, which I think would be cool and easier to make, you know? Really? Yeah. I didn't see that on the recipe. Mm. How open? Mm. Mm. You got it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you gotta use a spoon, baby. Here's a spoon. Put it on there. 
No, on the on here. Put the jelly on there. Good job. Good job, Quinny. Okay. My help. Okay. Yo, it looks good. There you go. Look what honey did. Honey did. Doesn't look pretty, but she's confident. Is that delicious? It's gonna be delicious. Okay. Did it say to do that? Nope. All right, now take your fork all the way around like this, okay? Can we like, you can probably do a little bit of water. Oh my. She's just winging this, guys. And that's what it's about. Just. Wait, can we like straighten this crest out or something? Like, I feel like if we like. Oh, okay, go ahead. Okay, look how much prettier that is. And should we do that? Yeah. Instead of just <laughs> dumping water on it? Doesn't that look better? That looks like a real. Oh, Let me get an up close shot for you guys to see. So as you can see, it's a little bit moist. <laughs> I never claimed to be a baker. Do not try this at home. <laughs> it looks, that big look harvest lady is like freaking out right now. <laughs> Okay, Quinny, next we're going to make egg muffins. Are you ready? Okay, so for egg muffins, we want to take three of these tater tots and put them in this right here, three each. We actually need to put a little oil in these first, okay? One. Two. It's up. It's up. Three. It's okay. All right. Now I'm gonna bake these for a minute and then we're gonna smush them in the bottom Who's of the here? pan. Who's here? It's Odie. My dad's here on this lunch break from work. Who do I hear in here? Breakfast. We're breakfast, Odie. That we're a sweepy. Breakfast. You're gonna be on our YouTube. Uh huh. Yeah. Say hello to, say hello to the people. Hello. People. <laughs> We're gonna do ten eggs. Ten eggs. Yes, ten. You remember how we do it? Yeah. We just crack it like this on the side. Crack it. And then put it in like that. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Here we go. And then put it in. Good, Good job. job. Let's do some cracked black pepper. Okay. You hand me the ham behind you. Okay. Because we're gonna make ham and cheese. Um, and cheese. Uh huh. Egg biscuits. We're going to get our muffin tins out. Muffins out. Uh -huh. I have to scoot Quinny over. I got it. And honestly, this just needs to be smushed in the bottom. But this is pretty hot. Did they say to do a tater tot, or you just decided? No. Tater tot? Tater tot? You're making it up? Uh, I saw it's a combination of things I've seen. Wait, what? It's a combination of different things I've seen. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the full recipe on the blog, but 
mom is combining multiple recipes and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give credit to the actual authors of the original recipes that she's combined and if you go to the blog we are putting photos and fun different ideas and everything written out it's a different experience from the vlog but also really fun and beautiful if you go there I have a secret word so when you find it's gonna say secret word or code word and when you find the code word you comment it on this YouTube video to prove that you went to the blog and one lucky winner on September 1st is going to win a $100 Amazon gift don't card. Eat, don't eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> so make sure that you go there for mom's combination recipe and also to find the secret code now, word. Quinny, can you put some of these hams in here? What's that? I'm going to put some spinach in mm. half of them. She looks so offended. <laughs> Only in half, Queenie. So mom's doing frozen spinach. Okay. And, and now then in the other half is going to do cheese. Oh. Here, just go like this. Like this? Oh, shoot. Okay. Just okay. one. With, okay. Now, Quinny, put cheese on this one. Good job. You are your mother's daughter. What do you mean? Oh, that she loves cheese? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a pastry brush. I don't know where it's at. So we're just gonna do this with our eggs, okay? Sometimes you have to improvise in the kitchen because you lose things. And maybe we should make an entire video about kitchen organization because clearly mom's kitchen needs, she, there's been two things she hasn't been able to find so far. So the next step is to do an egg wash on the top and then bake it. So it's been in the freezer for 20 minutes. Now it's gonna go in the oven along with the egg bites or the, what are we calling those? Egg biscuits. Egg biscuits. <laughs> with tater tot smash at the bottom. Call, who are we gonna call? Call somebody, invite them over. Tell them you're thinking about them. Yes, it's important. It really is important. And that's, that, that's all jokes aside, y'all. It's all about connecting with the ones you love. Yeah, that's it. I yeah. have a bee and a tree. Exactly. So if there's somebody you're thinking about while we're film or while you're watching this video, I want you to not don't even wait. Just pull out your phone and be like, hey, do you want to come over for Pop Tarts? I don't know if it's gonna turn out, but I'm gonna try to make a Pop Tart. <laughs> if they can do it, I can do it. That's yeah. You ready to put it in the oven? Okay. okay, let me get a view of it. Is there broccoli on it? Spinach? A little bit of spinach. <laughs> a little bit of spinach from the egg. But I think it's gonna add some <laughs> I think it's gonna add something to it. And you actually have Pop-Tart pastry on the back or cheese on the back of your phone. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Trying to get some good footage for you guys, but my camera's covered in Pop-Tart chunks, so we'll see how it turns out. So real quick, I'm going to share today's sponsor of the video, which is Skillshare. So if you need to gain a little bit of confidence in your baking, your cooking, your like meal preparation for your friends to have them over. Like me. Mom doesn't need preparation. She is a seasoned host, but I do. And Skillshare has some really fun classes. We have shared their classes before, like from photography, graphic design, interior design, but they also have baking. So I took this baking basics, make perfect pastries every time. And they have all sorts of different options from Mediterranean to more sweet and poppy seed tarts, apricots, like all sorts of different, more sophisticated type baking if that is something that you're interested in and i mean they have a whole plethora of baking and cooking options on skillshare so the first thousand people to click the link in the description get skillshare free for one month to give it a try and prep for your entertaining guys so yeah what's next what are we doing next we're going to make the uh icing for the top of our pop tart and we're just going to use two cups 
of powdered sugar, which I'm almost out of the powdered sugar. Next, we're going to add a little bit of vanilla. And I know I didn't measure that, but it's probably about what we need. We have just a little bit of warmed milk. So the recipe calls for whole milk. We are using oat milk today, and we'll let you know if it works out. You're going to try to just do this um, a little at a time, so somewhere between three and six tablespoons. You're not getting any of it in there. Okay. So that way you know it's just going to be thick enough to go on your pop tart. Actually, I put a little bit too much, which means I've got to add a little bit more powdered sugar. This guy's not quite old enough to have a pop tart or bake with honey yet, but he wanted to hang. Still might need a little bit more sugar. Do you have more powdered sugar? No. Let's hope. My mom is totally one of those people that as she's making a recipe, she's constantly improvising. I mean constantly. And honestly, in home design too, like it'll be like, oh, something's out of stock and then she finds something to fill that role and then it ends up being way better. So we'll see what happens with our icing, what she comes up with too. This is something that looks like powdered sugar, but it's not. My mom is putting pancake batter <laughs> in the icing. I just need to make it a little bit thicker. So just a little heavy handed on the situation with the milk. So. Which heavy handed should be your milk name. Do you agree, don't you? Yes. You wanna do it? Come on, let's do it, Quinn. Now I'm gonna give this just a little taste because, let me try. Oh yeah. Perfect. Mmm, that is so good. A little bit of this on here, and then you can do sprinkles. Sprinkles? Yes, sprinkles. That looks super cute. My friend Jennifer came over for lunch one day and she saw that we had so many watermelons growing in our garden and said, have you tried a watermelon smoothie? And I said, no, cause like, I'm not even a real fan of watermelons if I'm super honest. But anyway, she said, tastes just like a Jolly Rancher. And I'm like, really, I gotta see this. So she showed me essentially what you do is you take watermelon fresh watermelon, the seeded watermelon, not seedless because God made things with seeds, right? That's what we like to say. <laughs> so we just go ahead and put it in there. Um, take out the seeds, of course, but um, just cut it up and put it in there. While she's cutting the watermelon, I wanted to talk about the appliance cabinet. So a lot of people will ask, where's the microwave? Where do you keep your countertop appliances? Mom and I are both fans of keeping them almost completely hidden. Mine, the doors are always shut. Mom's actually, she keeps these doors open, but she has her KitchenAid mixer, the microwave, the blender, but it's cool because like we're making smoothies right now. We can pull this out and whip up a delicious smoothie. I will tell you, it's more this particular drink you could almost make a cocktail with and I would say it's not really a smoothie it's more of like a slushy like kind of has like a margarita vibe to it and it's perfect for this like brunch vibe we have going with the egg muffins the pop tart and then we have these little slushies so the lime juice is like the key to this whole thing totally the lime juice makes the slushy of the smoothie, whatever you want to call it. And so 
You can use fresh lime. I Jennifer uses lime aid actually. I use lime juice, whatever I have on hand. And what I'm going to do next is add just any frozen berry. This is mango berry, which I like strawberry. I don't like berries that have a lot of seeds in them. And so I'm gonna do this. Now Jennifer says one of the keys is not to use water. If you need more liquid, use more watermelon. That's what Jennifer's trick is. So, but I am gonna add just a tad of ice. So one of the things that makes something special is a presentation. It can even taste not as good, but if you've got a great presentation, it just makes people happy. And so one of the things we like to use are these little margarita glasses that we got in an island somewhere. I love to make my husband carry things home. He loves it too. Just kidding. He does not love it. One time I had him bring home a giant parrot from Jamaica. A large parrot. All right, have a drink. Okay. See what you think. Mm. Jolly Ranchers? She keeps saying Jolly Rancher, but it does have that like very sweet, tart, delicious Jolly Rancher vibe. Yeah. Okay. Don't spill on your white shirt. <laughs> You're rolling. So one of the things we like to do is just take things up just a Happy little. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> yeah, we take things up a notch around here. Happy birthday to you. So honey. How do we take things up a notch? <laughs> well, instead of just toasting your bread, maybe put it on the grill. And this is a very simple, easy thing to do, but it leaves grill marks and it makes people very impressed. But when we plate it, we really want to do something that makes it look, you know, a little bit more special. And so, Maybe we take an avocado. That way it just gives it a little something more special. Egg muffins turned out really cute, but I don't know that I put enough olive oil in with the egg muffins because they're just a little bit, a little bit hard to get out of the thing but delicious. So you have seen the mess of cooking with Quinn and Honey. However, at the end, your guests never know what happened in the kitchen, except that you made them a delicious and very inviting looking meal. Yeah, and it was so easy a toddler can do it. So we will have all of the... Are you excited? Do you wanna try a pop tart? Okay. So that's his new laugh. Like it's not actually like a giggle. It's, just... <laughs> <laughs> it's so exciting. The recipes are super easy. Even the pop tart, which looks, I mean, you saw how ugly the dough looked and how horribly mom and Quinn cut it. And it still looks really good. So I bet it, it tastes delicious. We're, We're about gonna, to taste yeah. it. Quinn will do a taste test at the end. Then we've got the slushy really delicious and then you just grill some sourdough toast and make some egg bites i guess mom made them up i will compile all of the recipes and details on the blog remember we've got our code word don't forget the code word on the blog post so go from this video in the description or i'll actually leave it in the comments there will be a link to the blog. When you go there, you'll scroll through beautiful photos. You'll see the recipes. You'll see all sorts of enjoyment to, you know, take in. And you'll find the code word, come back to this video, comment it, and at the end of the month, or the first of next month, we will draw a winner to win an Amazon $100 gift card. Maybe we'll let Quinny draw. 
Quinny can draw. <laughs> He's like Luke that. wants to draw. The <laughs> so, so yes, whether you have a beautiful kitchen or a kitchen that still needs updates, it is worthy of a mess to make a memory and your friends deserve a text to be checked in on. Mom and I, seriously, it completely made our day. We were just yeah. taken, I mean, it just felt, we felt special and cared for and thought of. And so do that to your friends, be that friend. And if you don't want to make them a pop tart, like door dash something or, yep. or literally just have coffee and you go. you'll be happy. And so All right. that's our, that's our yes. today, a message of today. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, share your hospitality, share your home, share your heart. And we will come back and join you again soon. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye.